this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp tour video. If you've been following my channel for a while you'll remember that I said a couple of weeks ago that I was planning to build a house with a bay window. Um, well I have succeeded. It was how I planned it to be and um, I'm entitling this camp The Mountain Retreat. It's um, basically the idea was that it's kind of a getaway in the country in the mountains for, for rich people basically I wanted to do a, a, lav a lavish kind of hunting lodge um, mountain cabin so I think I've succeeded so let me know what you think I built the bay using a trick that's um, used to make round camps. Um, I'll show you what I mean. You create a blueprint. I've got quite a few of these. <laughs> it took a while to get what I wanted. You create a blueprint with the walls on the wrong way round and the foundations and um, when you actually place it, it flips those foundations into the inside and the roofs to create an overlapping roof and foundation. I did um, convert the lower walls to doors so that I could square off the foundation on the house because I thought that looked better. I wasn't able to snap the blueprint to the existing foundations um, but I lined it up by eye and then snapped the foundations to that. So I'm not sure, the bay is only on one side, I'm not sure if I could put the bay on both sides, but this camp is absolutely maxed out on budget. I couldn't build anything else. <laughs> so I could really have done with another 20 or 30% budget for this camp. There was a gap which you may or may not recognise. These panels are in fact bookcases. They were Listening a little bit of a... Is the key to life. Gotta focus. I might put him away. He's been very annoying lately. Um, I blueprinted two and then I blueprinted four to perfectly line them up and yes it was a bit of a pain. Um, obviously they don't look like bookcases from the outside, well I don't think they do, but anyway, there is an outside eating area here with a guitar, a hammock and a grill. I don't lock my camps but it also does mean that if anyone wants a quick nap or um, to cook some food they can without going into the camp. This is the kitchen. It has skylights in it to give it more light. I used these western bars to create a kitchen counter. I blueprinted four together. It was a pain pushing them to make a double counter but I managed. Although we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in the UK I did put a few pumpkins around for Thanksgiving. These are actually the Halloween pumpkins from the Atom store. I've just turned them around so you can't see the faces. I still have a holiday gift and uh, we're getting Santa scorched again this year very soon, actually on my birthday. <laughs> so that'll be fun. <laughs> I have my water purifier next to the window so that I can lean out. I don't have to run around the back to get my water. I use the uh, saloon doors between the kitchen and main living area. There have been a few packs lately in the Atom store um, with sort of the Hunter's Pack, the Western set. Lights in the sky. It's communication. And I haven't really built with them, and I kind of thought I'd put them all together into this, this camp, so... I haven't really used this wallpaper before, but I think it looks really good in this, in this build. The 
There is a double fireplace, which acts as a room divider. And I decorated it with antlers. These are the bookcases on the inside. You could, in theory, um, use the glitch trick to put stuff on it, but as I said, I was completely out of budget and it would m probably make lining them up a little more tricky. A desk area and a safe, of course, because, yeah, wealthy people. This is a lever action that I built for this display. I have been trying to get hold of the um, decorated shotgun from the um, bellhop at Pleasant Valley. And despite probably putting in about 50 tickets recently, I still haven't got the gun, so. The fish came from the new Western set that's currently available in the Atom store. I do love this table, I just haven't had a build suitable to use it in before. This is the overlapping roof. For the back window you'll notice there's no metal surround, it's because I used two half windows. I couldn't do that on these walls because I needed to convert these into doors. Gotta wonder who else is out there watching us, trying to figure us all out. I had originally planned to put the bed head against the window, but as Blue rightly Haven't pointed heard much out, lately. gonna check back later though. As Blue rightly pointed out, if you were gonna live in a house like this, you'd want to lie in bed and look out at the view. You could build this on a cliff face, um, but I actually like sort of the uh, being surrounded by trees. If you want to know where we are, you might be able to see through the trees up here. I can't find it now. <laughs> up there is the graveyard where I um, built my last Halloween camp. So we are in fact very near Hopewell Cave. There is a plane here. There's a there's a lane that goes from the pumpkin house up the back up to the graveyard and we're on the plane below that. The um I had to use roofs for part of this upper floor, which is why they're covered with rugs. Never and there was I'd be back in a small gap, um, which I covered with mats. I wanted the roof here, because I wouldn't be able to cover it up, I wanted the roof here to be completely watertight, so I had to put a lot of roof pieces up and flame trap them to get this this roof. This is Raider Punk's room. He's only got a bed in here. I, I did pretty much run out of build budget. Um, I actually think I'm going to lock him in because he's being extra annoying at the moment. I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> there is a small bathroom here. And there is another room over here which unfortunately I don't have anything in. I completely ran out of build budget. These small side rooms have one skylight. Um, it does mean we can build small rooms now without having to worry about putting windows in, so that's great. There is actually a random animal spawn up there, so that's where I frequently get my dinner. I can't see anything at the moment. 
It would have been nice to put the house up there, but the terrain was very uneven. I needed a large flat area. Oh, yeah. Large flat area <laughs> to build it. Oh, there we go. We've got some rad stags up there today. <laughs> Gotta listen all the time. Lots of chatter back and forth. I do really like this space. I would certainly like to live here. Um, the lighting's great. And the area. Um, I love these lamps. This came with the uh, hunting set. The hunting lodge. It's my favourite lamp in the game, I think, at the moment. I use the uh, circus trailer doors for this because of the red. And it kind of matches with the saloon doors the other side. This is the workshop. Um, obviously there's plenty of space, you could get more, more things in here. And there is another door to the outside. It's quite a quiet area, you don't get many enemies here. Um, there are no random enemy spawns nearby, I think the nearest one is, there's one at the graveyard and there's one further over in that direction so you only get sort of camp spawns you don't get sort of other random enemy spawns it's powered by solar panels and although you can't see it from here I'll just quickly show you the roof There is a weather vane on top, so I've made good use of the new packs. Um, I think it works as a concept, and um, yeah, I'm certainly happy with it. Just really needed a uh, bit more build budget. I don't want to have my own place. What a headache that would be. I think I'll probably be here for at least a month. Um, I have another idea for a camp, a prepper's camp. I have found a location that I think it would work in, but it's sort of a plan at the moment and sometimes things don't go according to plan. I might see something and think, wow, I, must, I have to build that, which does happen occasionally. I'm two thirds of the way through filming an episode of Nora's Pharmacy, so that should hopefully be up next week. And on um, Scarlet, Building 101, I'm planning to build a boat, I just haven't decided what kind of boat. I don't want to do a boat that I've already done and as I've built four or five boats I think now. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of something different <laughs> to do. <laughs> but um, that'll be uh, that'll be up, or I'll start that next week probably, or over the weekend. So I will keep you posted. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>